read an interview with a young actress, said she wasn't a feminist. This outspoken actress was on the A-list. Sorry, but I just can't resist. Picture the scene, you're in the green room, schmoozing with the movers and shakers and the industry flakes. You're enjoying the buoyancy of complimentary shampoos and light-hearted banter. When your chat's interrupted abruptly by someone who loomed over slowly, poking their nose in below the glare of their thousand-yard stare and above the chagrin of their shit-eating grin. And without a word or a gesture to greet us, they say, Have you heard of the good word of Jesus? What on earth are you picturing? Trading men while wearing sensible shoes? Forget the dead guy on the cross and the one-way vulva through which he was tossed. The point is he died so that you can survive and you're still alive so you don't get to decide. You must not know what feminism means because a feminist is you. You're a feminist. Sorry, you're babe, a Christian you're as a well. Feminist. But one who just believes in hell even get the gist And is the only thing you build feminist. Yourself Millennial women were truly happy for you You feel empowered and that was the goal It's true so many of your rights Are guaranteed today that you can't Imagine things were ever any other way I know that you suppose That your model soul is your own responsibility And your own fault but if it wasn't for Jesus and the people who believe in him then you would Have no goals and no way of achieving them Naturally we don't have a shred of the evidence That we ever did anything except bully the government It's a making the peasant men work So we can rest and complaining simultaneously That we earn less I'm so glad you don't have to deal with this much crap But to give the feminists who came before you a bad rap Even if we grant you your premise that feminism Was ever anything but gynocentric nepotism You're still admitting that modern day women Have no more reason to be feminist than Wiccan I mean, do they even give you your free pap? So why don't you just shut your yap? Free speech, ladies and gentlemen That is actually what it means to these people only about this though, say anything you want about anything else, all your opinions, and don't let anyone tell you can. Except other feminists. Who are richer than you, and more powerful, and better at playing the victim than you. If you dare to tell them that you make your own choices, you'll soon find out how respected your voice is. Cause you're a feminist. Yeah, and you're a Muslim and a Jew. Just and one sixty-four can do. Checklist. You like voting? No. You like driving? No. You're a feminist. You're right. There is no difference. Past feminists gave their lives. Name two. To let you vote and be more than wives. And one of the first things they voted for was a war in which only men and teenage boys fought. I suppose it's a coincidence that your country's been doing that ever since. Saying you're not a feminist gives them hives, although they're dead and buried, so it's hard to see. You try to explain it's because you don't. Triggered. Hey man, how do we have to go through that again and again? It's not about who's better. Here's my proof. Lots of men are feminist too, right? I honestly don't know if you're joking or what in the giddy fuck. You've been smoking. <laughs> you might as well be saying the black men can stay as long as they wear t-shirts saying KKK. Where are my feminist guys at? Yeah! And where are the non-feminist guys at? Same place as the non-feminist women. Banned! You want to argue that we're post-feminism? Well, tell that to American conservatism or... Your best example of patriarchy is the Violence Against Women Act. Fuck me. You just showed a picture of 21 men who officially don't care about violence against them. This is who the female electorate hires to serve the public in the line of fire. This is living proof that violence against women is somehow more pressing than violence against children. If you can pull this shit off and it's still not enough, then post-feminism's still a long way off. Post anything opinionated on the web without a death threat from some misogynist dickhead. Roughly translated, you went online saying kill all men, and a man replied, that's not very nice. So you 
cried harassment and got him arrested. See, words on the internet don't affect men due to our superior upper body strength. Yes, that was sarcastic, you simpering turd. If there's one thing you women excel at, it's words. Boys in blue sent on a wild goose chase by men in suits stepping over each other to please you. When they should be solving actual crimes like wasting police time with false claims of harassment, which itself is a form of harassment. I didn't cheat, God raped me. He would slap you and say, make me a grilled cheese. There's no way he would simply listen and believe. A feminist is described as a person who believes in social, political, and economic equality of the sexes. Why is this so confusing? Because none of you actually believe that. You believe in twisting every law of the land to favor women because you are pathologically blinded to the fact that they already do. Sonic never told me he loved me He just died over and over again But I don't blame my problems on my toys and my fucking friends And if that makes you mad Then just accept that you're a feminist Yes, yeah, you're a victim of your dolls And the misogynistic yeah, trolls I had Barbies, so It's because my mom didn't want to make me weird had a Barbie because you wanted a fucking Barbie. You saw a commercial for a pull string doll who says math is hard and you said I want that toy, it speaks to me. And now it's the whole world's fault that you were damaged by a plastic homunculus. But this isn't just about me and you, it's about girls who get stoned for just going to school. And I'm sure they're moved by your tales of woe With your Barbies and your internet and your draftless vote But might I remind you that in Western schools A boy can turn up and obey all the rules But if a woman cries rape on the slightest whim Then fuck due process, it's mob justice for him And yes, this happens to boys in third world countries too You just don't give a fuck about people who don't look like you Which human is twice as likely to live in poverty? Yeah, I'm seeing boobies And which human is less likely to live in poverty on account of having already died in poverty, having been subject to ideological genocide? I mean, but women have nothing to do with ideological genocide. <laughs> Scum manifesto. <laughs> Hashtag kill all men. <laughs> I'm not responsible for teaching my son the Quran. It's not like I believe any of that shit. We decide how you're politically identified. Boko Haram. Boko Haram murders male children by the truckload. They are what Valerie Solanus dreamed of. Rush Limbaugh. Have you asked him if he believes in equality of the sexes? Because apparently that's the only criteria. The Taliban. Good call! Let's carry on trying to invade them. Your vote matters. You might want to call yourself a feminist! Woo! 
Let's bomb the fuck out of those misogynistic sand niggas and then bomb the internet. And to that woman who got interviewed, just count up all the money your male co-star is getting compared to you. And while you're at it, count up all the women on the film crew, because there's only 2%, I said 2% of directors are female, and that's just a little bit skewed and now. That's roughly the ratio of government handouts that benefit men as opposed to women. I'm more concerned with the suicide rate and the homeless and the fatherless husk of this nanny state. In my humble opinion, the problems of billions of poor people are more pressing than the problems of media studies graduates who neglected to build a Hollywood career because they found it more rewarding to squirt out a child and spend the rest of their days leeching a stolen living from the man. You can't show a penis in films because it's illegal And it's men's fault And you can't show tits on the street That's also illegal And about that's men's fault Because men are strong and women are weak That's what you believe Well, I disagree And I swear I'm not being a prude it's, I'd be happy to see more men in the nude And less women in the nude Because you are a fucking prude Like Jude Law oh. But at least you're a strong, independent woman who don't need no man! I'm just talking about equality here, dude! Good. As long as we're all aware that when you say equality, you mean anything but equality. And to that woman that got interviewed, the fact that you're even giving interviews in the national news about So is Shirley Phelps and Rush Limbaugh and Isis. <laughs>